Okay, this lesson is on bearings. Now, the key thing about bearings, we've got three major things to remember. First and foremost, all bearings are given in terms of three figures. Secondly, the bearing is always given from the north. So the first thing you must always do is to put a north line in before you read your bearing. And finally, don't forget, it must be in a clockwise direction. So the key things, three figures from the north in a clockwise direction. What you must be competent at being able to do before you access this lesson is to be able to obviously measure angles. So if you look at this question here, I'm look, looking at calculating the bearing of B from A. The key word is where you are coming from. All right, it definitely states I'm coming from A. So what's the first thing I must do is I must draw a north line on the letter A because I'm coming from A. So I literally, okay, take a ruler here, straighten myself up, and I'm now going to draw myself a north line. And there's my north line. Next thing is because I'm calculating the bearing from A to B, it's best if I actually draw a physical line connecting A and B up. This will allow me to be a little bit more accurate when reading off the angle. So I'm literally now taking the ruler, joining A to B up like this, and I'm now at the stage where I can work that bearing out. What's the key thing? It's from the north in a clockwise direction. So the angle that I'm physically working on is that angle in there. So I literally now take my protractor, okay, I make sure that I have a naught on the north line, because remember we're moving from the north. So I literally I put my protractor on here, okay, place it on letter A, make sure I've got my naught on that line, and I'm measuring that angle there, and mine is 40 degrees. So this angle here is 40 degrees. How do I write the bearing? Well, if this angle was three figures already, I wouldn't have to add anything to it. But because it's only a two-figure number, I have to place a third digit. So I just place a zero in front of that 40, and I have worked out the bearing of B from A. If look at this next question. It says, what is the bearing of A from B? So this time, the key word is, where am I coming from? I'm coming from B. So what would I need to do on B is literally, I would take my ruler, and my first thing I'm going to do is draw myself a north line on B, like such. What's my angle going to be? My angle is going to be from the north clockwise. So I have to go all the way around here and measure that angle there. Now, if you've got a full circular protractor, it's much easier to do bearings. So I do recommend that you buy yourself a full circular protractor. In this particular case, I've only got a 180 degree one. So what am I going to do? Well, I actually know already that if I draw a line down like that, I know that that angle there is already 180 degrees because it's a straight line angle. So all I'm going to do is measure this angle here, okay? So I'd place my protractor, I'd make sure that I had my zero, okay, facing, okay, on that north line, I would place it inside here, like such, I'd measure my angle, and my angle is 40 degrees. Remember, I'm going clockwise all the way around, so it's 180 degrees plus the 40 degrees, which is 220 degrees. So the bearing of A from B is 220. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at a question where actually it's not drawn to scale and we've been given an angle and asked to calculate a bearing. Okay, so you should feel comfortable now using your protractor to be able to draw or measure a bearing. If you look at this question, I've stated that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Now I've got two points A and B and I've asked to find the bearing of A from, remember that's the key word, from B. Now, if it was the other way around, what is the bearing of B from A? Well, that would be really straightforward, because look, we've been told that this angle is 35 degrees, so the bearing literally would be 035. Remember, it's got to be three figures. But now I'm going from B. I can't go and get my protractor out. The reason I can't get my protractor out is I've told that the diagram is not drawn to scale. 
So what do I do? I create a north line on B like this, and I'm working clockwise all the way around until I hit that line from the north clockwise. So if I'm not allowed to get my protractor out, there must be some way of being able to work out that bearing. And the way to do it, just look, is if you just drop this line down here like this, we already know we've traveled 180 degrees in a clockwise direction to get to there because it's a straight line angle. So what am I got to do is I've just got to work with calculating this angle inside here. And what do we notice about these two north lines is these two north lines are parallel. They're parallel to each other. So from the work that we've done on angles already, if we have angles in a parallel line, then that one's 35. We also know that that one must also be 35 degrees because we've got this line cutting across the two parallel lines. So this angle inside here is also 35 degrees. So my total bearing okay, of A from B will be 180 degrees plus the 35 degrees. So that's 180 plus the 35, which makes a grand total of 215 degrees. Let's just have a look at another question like that. Okay, so let's look at this question here now. We're asked to find the bearing of A from B. Okay, so we're going from B, okay, and we're off the bearing of A from B. So what do we do? We're looking at clockwise direction from the north, okay? So we're looking at that complete angle. Now remember, if this was drawn to scale, you could get your protractor out and you can measure that angle and that would be your bearing. So how am I gonna do it? Because it's not drawn to scale, that there, straight line going down, that's 100 and 80 degrees. So what have I got to find? This angle inside here, because I've got two north lines, they're parallel to each other. So if this angle in here is 130 degrees, then this angle here is also 130 degrees. So I've got the 180 degrees plus the 130 degrees, that's 180 plus 130 degrees. Add the two of them up, we get a grand total of 300 and 10 degrees. So the bearing of A from B is 310 degrees and of course the bearing of B from A would just literally be the 130 degrees because it's north clockwise. What we're going to do now is look at two practical questions where we're actually plotting, okay, using some information about bearings and scale.